Hello and welcome to Valheim Hardcore. And in today's video, I kind of gave it away as we're standing next to it. But today we're going to go and unlock quite a few things. We've got some barley to plant. We've got some some flax to plant as well. And we're going to see what we can start making with them. As well as we're going to build our blast furnace today because I farmed the iron that we needed to do it off camera. So we got quite an exciting today, day today. I might end it with um, some more exploration because we have quite a bit of planes to explore still and I'm a bit more comfortable taking them on. As you can see, I built the wall that I wanted to build. Just I just chose the stone wall option. I'm not sure if it'll help too much because I think they're the same durability as the spike walls. And I didn't want to go straight to the impenetrable um, terrain walls. I also built our windmill out here, so it's just chilling here. We've got a nice little plot of land. We can chuck down the barley and the wheat. And as you'll see very shortly, I put in some of the stuff we had into our house. We've got our stone cutter chilling here because I didn't want it outside. I brought over all the stuff from the boat, so this forge is maxed out. All the um, workshop stuff is behind it. Regular workbench. I didn't bring any upgrades with it. Obviously we got the arc artisan table so we can place the other craftables that we have. I made kind of a chimney thing here because it was actually smoking me out every time I came into my room. And up here we've got the spinning wheel and a few chests which I might upgrade into the metal ones after because we do have some iron left over. But yeah, without further ado, let us go plant our barley and our flax. I'm pretty sure you just plant it the same way as everything else. Obviously first you got to cultivate the land. But you just select cultivate, and right click, it's pretty simple stuff. But it's not really explained so I figured I'd say something about it. And then you just select what you want. Um, I'm also going to show off how I got shown how to plant things because I was running out of food really quickly and now I seem to have infinite with it. So my friend always taught me you grab about half of what you want to plant and then you put the half away and you plant everything else. So I'm just going to go chuck these in here so we can actually use them later on because we do have the spinning wheel and the... And obviously the windmill we can use after we plant these. So let's get these in the ground. Um, I'm not sure how much space they need. I hope, I hope this is okay. And I always go backwards just to try and keep it straightish, just so it looks nicer. And then you just run along, go next to the next one, do the same thing. Because these should produce like three-ish, I think, per thing. We actually might run out of space here. Place those two, and then we start placing this one. These are a bit smaller, which is good. Probably don't need this much space, but I'm not sure because I haven't grown them before. But that should be fine. I don't want to play... See, this one's too close. Needs open sky. Okay. So I guess that counts as being in the way, so we'll move that over a little bit. Which isn't too bad, we just smash it and build another one. No. I want it over here maybe? Would that work? Yeah, I think that works. We can chuck it there. Oh, lovely, it's even going to spin so it's the right way. I should have done that to begin with. But yeah, let's try and chuck down as much of we can as we can. Because we do want to get as much of this going as we can, so we can see everything we can possibly get. Probably going to expand it out a tiny bit more as well, because we have a bit more room now that it's there. From my knowledge so far, there's no way to pick up your crops if it's placed wrong, so you have to move things around it. If you place it incorrectly, like this. So now that that's a bit annoying. I guess I'll just place it in between everything. Sorry to all the OCD people, including myself, but it has to be done now, or it's going to look real ugly. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep it in line with that. 
I guess. And these, well, I hope it takes the same amount of time as everything else, which is usually a few days. That might be clue too close to the wall, but that's fine. But yeah, so we got that planted. Let's go make ourselves the blast furnace, because I should have everything I need. Except the stone, probably. Uh, yeah, let me have a look if I have the stone or not. Because I think... Oh no, we have it. Lovely. We need just the iron. Beautiful. Let's get our blast furnace going. Uh, I don't have a kiln with me, which might be a problem. Because I imagine it still needs coal. Oh wow, this looks interesting. Wait, that's got... Oh, okay, the, the two intakes are on that side. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay, so it still needs coal, which means we'll need kilns again, which is just stone. But that's alright. We can get that pretty easily, because this big-ass rock is still chilling here, after all I've mined. Um, we didn't... We haven't had any goblin invasions yet, so maybe it's just certainly and, um... And the skeleton army. We did have a skeleton attack, which which was why there was a bunch of bones here somewhere. Yeah, see, there's bones. That was just because there's... I don't think there's too much use for for bones at the moment. So it's kind of just there. Unless you use bones to speed up growing stuff, like in Minecraft, but I, I highly doubt it. Otherwise I would have found it by now. Let's get some more of this stone going. Just so we can make our kiln and get it started. Because I'm very curious to see what it'll unlock for us. And then we'll go explore the plains a bit. Maybe farm some goblins if the equipment is worth it. Because we do still just have a an iron mace. So it might be good to upgrade that soon here. And I think we have 30. Like 30 black metal to smelt. So it should be a good chunk. Also, once I build this kiln and fill it up, we'll go put in some stuff into the windmill in, and into the spinning wheel. And see what that gives us as well. I imagine that's quite good. Grab up some of this wood here. Because I don't think these trees do anything except get in the way. Because we do need some wood still to make, obviously, the, the coal. Because I don't want to waste food doing it. I've also found an easy way to kill goblins. I'm not sure if it's because of my mace skill, but it did one-shot one that attacked earlier. So I may have found an easy way to kill them. At least the ones without stars, that is. That should be enough. Yeah, 28's plenty. Chuck down this kiln over here the other side probably, just so it looks clean. Put that down, chuck this in here. Alright, let's see what our spinning wheel and the windmill can create. We did have quite a bit extra here that we can use real quick. Oh, actually the spinning wheel was up here. So, from what I gather, we just chuck it in here. Uh, we'll come back to that. We'll go fill up the windmill real quick with the remainder of what we have. The barley. Chuck this in here. No? This side? Yeah. So, those two will get to work. It looks like it's just crushing it, so maybe it, ta maybe it makes it into flour. Because don't you, you smash and knead seeds into flour grains back in the day? I could be wrong, but pretty sure they crush it in some sense to obviously make it more flower looking. Or maybe that's exactly what it is. It might be just crushed seeds. I don't know too much about it. It really does 10 at a time? That's going to take forever. I suppose it's not... Oh! We got linen thread. Padded helmet book. Alright, let, let's just see what we got. So we got padded armor. Finely wrought and strong enough to turn even the sharpest of blades. 
Oh god, we need more iron? Really? Why iron? We have silver now. Is it even better than the iron scale? Or the wolf armor, I mean? It's a lot better. Oh my god. But it, it's a lot cheaper. Why is it so cheap if it's so much better? That's amazing. Did we get anything else? Padded helmet. A snug fit finally made. Oh, the porcupine. A deadly weapon bristling with fiendish spikes. Oh my god. 50 blunt and 45 pierce? I suppose it's... But this is maxed out, I guess. That seems really good. 50 blunt, 45 pierce. I don't know whether I'll make that, but it seems pretty good. There's nothing else in there at the moment. Give us anything in here. Linen cape. Oh, I can style it. That's cool. Oh my god, I love that green. God damn it. 20 linen. That seems to be a common number. So maybe we need a lot of flax. Did we learn anything to throw down with this? Doesn't look like it. Furniture? Really? No new furniture with linen. That seems a bit odd. Stone cutter, yeah. Artist table still nothing. That's fine. Oh, let's see what the other one makes. Here it is. Oh! It is flour! We can make bread, fish wraps. Oh, the fish wraps. They might be good because fish isn't too useful. Oh, but we need a cauldron for that. So maybe I need to bring a cauldron here too. Although we can teleport with this stuff, so that's not too bad. Let's go see what we learnt in there. I know I saw at least flour. So that's how good. And then we'll get some of the smelting going because our coal should be ready soon. Let's see what we can make with the black metal. Alright, let's have a look in here. Yeah, here we go, barley wine base fire resistance. I'm guessing we need that at some point. Blood pudding. 90 health, 50 stamina. Oh my god. That is some good food. It's bloody tasty. Oh yeah, I suppose it's a reference to blood sausages. Bread, 40 health, 70 stamina. It's not the best, but it'll work if you want stamina, I guess. Fish wraps, same kind of deal as the bread. They're not bad. Any new potions? Doesn't look like it. Uh, no new potions, but that's good. We'll get to see what the metal does here when I head back. I actually need to clear some inventory as well. Oh uh, yeah, I should check if the boar has disappeared or anything yet. Because I've still been letting him starve. No, he's still sitting there. Yeah, so maybe they just... Maybe they can't die if they're tamed. Unless you specifically kill them. So, you can kind of let your animals starve if you don't want them to have babies and stuff on the way. Which is good, because it felt terrible leaving that little wolf cub behind in like part 6 or 7 or 8, whatever it was. Uh, let's grab out our black metal here. A lot more linen, that's good. Definitely chuck that in there, both of them. Grab our black metal. Chuck that in there. I'm curious to see how fast this goes, because that doesn't hold very much. It's only 10. How fast are you? That's so cool. I guess it's probably about the same speed as the other forges, it just doesn't hold as much. That's interesting. Let's let's chuck the rest of what we had in here, because I think there was some 
Yeah, there was some more flax. We definitely want the linen going, because that seems pretty useful. Chuck that all in there. And hopefully the ones out there will grow plentifully, like, um, in batches of three or so. Kind of like the seeds. Oh, here's a black metal ingot. Black metal weapons. Black metal shield, black metal sword. That seems pretty good. Let's see what kind of rating it has. Well, the black metal's not in here. Oh, the weapons are. Or was it just black weapons and armor, like shields? A vicious hewing axe of almost unbreakable black metal. Perfectly balanced axe forged from dark metal with an emerald sheen. Oh my god, they do so much damage. Yeah, they do so much, Jesus. Black metal knife. Knives seem pretty shit in this, I'm not gonna lie. They do so little damage. Oh, it might be the backstab multiplier though. Oh, I can style the black metal shields. I should definitely get one of them, because I haven't replaced this yet. Tower shield, I'm not too worried about that. 90 block power. So that's as high as the serpent shield, but as a medium shield. I'm definitely making this shield straight away. But we need chains. I suppose we can get more chains, because we need a lot more... Um, a lot more iron now anyway. But that's so good. Uh, we'll do a little bit of exploring here, probably. These aren't ready, are they? I don't know how long they would take. The barley just chills in there, I guess. I hope it doesn't get overfall and then starts using it without actually popping out. That would suck. Black metal's going well. Got a good chunk of that going. It's pretty cold heavy. Because I filled that up. It's only halfway. Interesting. Alright, let's go. Probably need to sleep. Because it might be turning night here. But I kind of want to explore out this way. Towards the Mistlands kind of thing. Um, we, don't, we also don't have many good arrows left, which is kind of shit. Although I suppose I can make some needle arrows, because we just unlocked them. Yeah, we, we definitely need to sleep here. Alright. Then we'll head over, because I've still got some food left as well. So we shouldn't be in too much danger exploring, which is good. I wonder if there's another way to get iron, because it is, it is going to get very tedious heading back into the swamps repeatedly just to get iron and leave because you don't really want to live there it's not that safe an of an area thanks to the poison damage these still aren't ready yeah that's what I feared or is it done ah uh, it's done okay so it pops it out in one thing if it's done alrighty let's go explore what our planes has to offer I still love this biome so much, even when it's rainy or foggy, it looks so good. Also, in the next one, I'm probably going to tame a lox. Because I do have quite a lot of lox nearby that I could lure easily. I suppose the harpoon could help me get them here too, but I don't really want to attack them too much. I'd imagine you just tame them with cloudberries here. Because they don't seem like they would be um, into meat. Fuck, he saw me. I guess I get to show it off. So, ah, I, I can't even parry them. Okay. There we go. But yeah, you, you essentially parry them, and then you do your alternate attack with the mace. And for me, it does 300 damage. Because my club skill is pretty high, but it might be just a good strategy. Block into alternate hit. Although I don't have nearly as much health. Oh my god, okay. I didn't expect three locks to spawn in at the front, too. That's Skeeto. Oh 
fuck I missed. There's two dead skittos, I'm glad I didn't run over there. There we are, there's a goblin chilling as well. These are only wooden arrows, so I'm not expecting them to one shot anything. As you can see, it is wood. Ah oh, yeah, obviously we haven't died yet, otherwise I wouldn't be making the recording. Uh, I figured you guys would just be smart enough to see or pause if you had any kind of concern about it. But uh, I like to guarantee it. This is kind of hard to see with all of them clumped up because I like to mark everything I find. But yeah. Let's keep exploring what we have. I should hit up that camp at some point. Maybe when I've tamed my own locks, I will feel a bit more comfortable fighting them. But for now, the only way I've killed locks was with my friends, and we just ran away <laughs> as someone got aggro and started shooting. Oh my god, that's a big goblin. That is a huge golem, uh, goblin. Jesus, he a big boy. Got a big club too. There's two of them in there? That's dangerous. Oh, here's a ruin. We found one of them near our other camp. There's a chest up top again. Hopefully it's got some goodies in it. I believe the poison will kill them. No? Poison killed the other one. Oh shit, we missed. That's alright. That one didn't miss. Oh, I love the sunlight. It just lights up this zone so nicely. Is that their skid going to stop moving? No? It's probably seen us soon. Oh, nice, it stopped. If I wasn't a shit shot. There we go. Grab up these arrows real quick because they seem pretty strong. The other one was over here somewhere. Let's see what's in our chest here. Oh sweet, some easy ore. There's a mini lake over there. That's cool. Let's go have a look up here. Because it might link up to this island. That's what I'm hoping. So I, I do wonder if the barley and that is only supposed to be found in camps though. Because surely we would be able to find where the goblins got them from, right? Maybe I'm thinking too much into it, just be happy I got it. Let's have a look over here. Hopefully nothing in the water. I think just the sea serpent chilling in this river. Oh shit, there's Skido, that was close. Ah, oh, fuck out of stamina as I went to shoot. There we are. Easy enough. Just go, yep, I knew it. I was gonna say, just going slow in case exactly that happens. Should charge it as soon. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough. Grab up those easy needles. We'll head over here. Oh fuck! <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Jesus Christ, dude! I'm gonna try and line, line of sight it down here and pop the power. I can't block that anymore. I don't think. So I'm just going to be really, really careful with that one star. Attack. Thank you. Alright. Pretty sure he doesn't do a stabbing motion, so you have to keep looking at him. I am not risking it. No way. Oh. 
Oh, bit of world lag there, because it saved, I think. Kind of getting low on stamina here. But that's because I'm blocking all the time. I really don't want to be in the water where he is, because I'll be stuck in that animation and I can't attack, but he can. Fuck me, dude. If that was a two-star goblin, that would have been the entire thing gone. Like, our entire hardcore run. That could have ended right there, if he was two-star. That's why I wanted to be as prepared as humanly possible. My god. Jesus Christ, dude. Because I'm pretty sure there's two-star versions of everything. So he very well could have been. Oh, that looks like the start of the Mistlands, maybe. So that's good. If they if they release the new biome in the next patch, it means we can actually start straight away because it's right there. That's actually so good. Yeah, that's Mistlands, isn't it? Because it's the big trees. What is that? Is that a Draugr? Just chilling in the Mistlands? Looks like a Draugr. Yeah, it's a Draugr. It died in one hit. Okay. I do kind of want to go over here. But if it's as dark as when I tried to go on the boat, I might just have to turn around immediately. Because I couldn't see any kind of land at all when I approached it. Unless this is just a swamp and it looks weird. Some leeches. Yeah, it's just a swamp. Okay. That's interesting. So at least I have a close um, supply of iron there. But I swear these trees were too big to be the swamp ones. They're too, um, too many of them. But I, I have no issue running in here. Because, <laughs> obviously, we do a bit more to these things than what I'd imagine the new enemies do. Not too worried about the poison, because I do have a health potion on me that I can use right now. Even though it's doing quite a lot to me, rested should heal me back up before I get poisoned again. Or get hit again, I mean. Yeah, no worries at all with any of this. So maybe it doesn't connect to the Mistlands? Or maybe it's just a part of the swamp. But that'll be all for our exploration for now, because we only have 20-ish seconds left of bone mass. And I don't want to risk it on a two-star goblin just one-tapping me randomly. Because as you saw, the one-star on its own almost one-tapped me. With 79 armor. If there was more than two of them, I think I died right there. Like, just more than two goblins in general to focus on. Because I'd have to block too often if their attacks were out of sync. Fuck, man. <laughs> Hardcore makes you play this game differently, I swear. Oh, fuck you. See, even then, Deathskeeto did 20 damage to me. This zone is so dangerous. Come on, attack, please. There you go. Oh my god. So dangerous. I think our homes... Yeah, it's that way. Oh, that's a good idea. I might make a bridge and tame a lox in the next one. Alright, guys, we have made it back to our beautiful... Oh my god, look at them. That is so cute. Flax healthy. So maybe one more stage of them? Maybe it only needs two days? But yeah, that'll have to do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and that it was worth the wait on me discovering all this stuff. And... Obviously, if you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button, so you get notified every time I post a video. But until then, take it easy, yo yo.